Hello everyone and welcome back to the Tyler Gibson Superstar Mode. In the last episode, we lost to the Packers, mostly because of some interceptions Tyler threw, and then we beat the Rams. And today is the final regular season episode, and the next episode will be the playoffs. Unsurprisingly, Tyler Gibson leads in just about every statistical category for quarterbacks, and that includes interceptions, actually. He's thrown by far the most interceptions of the top quarterbacks. Still less than Bob Hackney, though, the quarterback of the Dolphins, but he's also thrown 45 touchdowns, which is the best by quite a bit to Doug Quincy, and he has the most yards by almost 2,000. There's also Jamison Williams, who leads the NFL in receptions with 118, in yards with 2,351, 1,300 more than the guy in second, and he leads in touchdowns with 21. It's been an absolutely disgusting year, statistically speaking. Here's the playoff picture. The four 49ers are currently projected to be the three seed. Feel free to pause and take a look if your favorite team is here. If we take a look at the standings in the NFC, we are 10 and four along with the Eagles and the Bucks, who are currently the one and two seed. So if we win out, there's a good chance we end up with the one seed. So it's the final three weeks of the regular season, meaning there will be three games played in today's episode, hence the longer runtime you probably see there on YouTube. So let's get into it. I'll get through these activities. We'll get into game day against the Panthers. So against the Panthers today, we have plus three speed, plus two strength, and plus two throw on the run. The Panthers are eight and six. We are 10 and four. Of course, the Seahawks, who were really good at the beginning of the season, are now seven and seven, so they fell off. And as always, these overall rankings are flipped. The Panthers apparently have Amon Ra St. Brown, though, so that's interesting. Welcome back to the 49ers home here in San Francisco. There's Jamison Williams, the new record holder for receiving yards in a single season, likely to break the receiving touchdowns record as well. Maybe not the receptions record because 149 is absurd from Michael Thomas a few years ago. The 49ers will start with the ball and now it becomes about winning football games more so than getting Jameson Williams his yards as he's pretty much definitely going to win the wide receiver triple crown. Too bad we can't run the ball though so we have to be a very pass heavy team. Second and 10 from the 25. Looking to throw with Tyler. Just get it off to the fullback, I guess. He got his feet in, but it's third and seven. Third down, seven to go from the 28. JMO over the middle, wide open immediately. Nobody in coverage on him. And that's a first and 10 to the 46 for the Niners. On first and 10, we'll go back to the ground game. It's Brian Robinson. Oh, he got a good lane up the middle. And he gets a first down. Jamal Parker, a tight end, is injured, though. JMO is in the backfield now. From the 44, he gets a carry. He's got elite speed, of course, but could not get to the edge. Second and six from the 40, handoff to Isaiah Spiller. He falls forward, but is just short of the first. It's third and one. Can't tell if the run game doesn't work or if I just don't run the ball enough for it to work. It's probably the latter. We'll look to throw with Tyler. And wide open to the right side is Jamison Williams. He's to the nine, first and goal 49ers. So from inside the 10, we're going to the ground. It's Brian Robinson. God, he had such a great lane to the right side of the guard that he just skipped. So now I'm running a read option. And these used to work like so well, like back in season one, but now they suck. They never work. Makes it third and goal from the three. Not the easiest distance to convert. Go to Tank Dell immediately, and he's in the end zone. Touchdown, Niners. Tank Dell has had a solid season. He's no JMO but he's been very, very good still as they're kind of kicking each other with the Panthers player in between, just kicking the Panthers player. Touchdown 49ers, we take the lead. Carolina turned it over, so it is San Francisco ball again, first and 10 from the 18. Tyler back to pass, wants his man over the middle. That is Donovan Peoples-Jones, I believe, and it is. Five for five to start the day for Tyler, and it's a first and goal again for the Niners. From the eight. Tyler Gibson, play action, back to pass, has a man in the end zone. Who else? It's Jamison Williams. His 22nd touchdown reception on the season, one away from tying the NFL record held by Randy Moss, which is 23. And I think he's going to do it. He's still got most of this game left and two more in the regular season. It's still the first quarter, but there's only eight seconds left. The Panthers unable to score again. 
our defense actually showing up today. 14-0 Niners as we'll hand off to Isaiah Spiller. Breaks a tackle, gets nine yards, and that'll end the first. Hopefully this isn't one of those games where it just takes forever because we're constantly on the field. I hate those. Second and one. Tyler Gibson lobs it over the top, but a jumping safety swats it away. I would run the ball here. I just do not trust my running backs to get it done. I do trust Tyler to get it done through the air, though. That was Alec Ingold lined up at tight end for whatever reason. First and 10 from the 40. Tyler back to throw again. JMO over the middle. Got it off even though he was under pressure. And it's a first and 10 to the 29. You know, with how easily we broke the receiving record with Jamison Williams this season, I'm kind of shocked that we didn't manage to do it with the Raiders in the four seasons we played with them at any point as Dulcich gets to the 16, another first down. You know what I think it is? Whenever I had like a main receiver, they got injured for quite a while. Like I had that one year where Jacoby Myers was like my main dude and he got injured. Devontae Adams got injured a couple times. Michael Mayer got injured, I think in season four and he probably would have done it. This is like the first season I've had a receiver stay healthy the whole year or at least long enough for me to get him to 2000. And that's JMO, the beneficiary of Tyler Gibson being the best quarterback of all time. Third and six after the very short pickup, sending Spiller out wide. Tyler takes the snap, will look to throw, stepping up in the pocket. That D tackles the fastest guy I've ever seen in my life. Fourth and eight. I was gonna take off to run because there was a gap in the middle. I honestly wasn't looking downfield, which is on me because I was trying to run, but man, that DT was just all over it. A field goal for the 49ers makes it 17 nothing. Carolina still cannot score. We start from our own eight, and Brian Robinson had a huge lane, and he didn't get much further than nine yards. That looked like it could have been a really, really big gain for Brian Robinson, but just not meant to be, I guess. As I'm going to lob one downfield for Tank Dell, this is stupid, and it was stupid. It's third and one from the 17. I'm going to trust Isaiah Spiller. I think that he can do it. He's going to get the first, and he does. Actually, the running game is working relatively well today which is interesting, has not been the case the entire series. You know, I thought I had done more episodes of this series, but we're only on episode, this should be 49, if my math is correct, as Tyler, no one to throw to. He's gonna find the edge though, no! The shoelace tackle from the edge defender. A loss of a yard, brutal. See, we get to these points in these games where I start goofing off, and then I feel like that kind of opens the door for a comeback. But not, not this play. No goofing off, no goofing around. Tyler takes a hit, but he gets it to Dulcich, and it's a first. First and 10 from the 44. Two minutes left here in the first half still. Tyler's got a man wide open underneath. He steps out of bounds after a pickup of six. So we're past the two-minute warning. Still 17-0 Niners and in a good position to hopefully get some more points before halftime. As we get this one to Robinson, he's got a lot of room to work with, and he breaks a big tackle, breaks another one. He loves that spin move. Stepped out of bounds, though, but he's inside the 20. From the 18, it's first and 10. Tyler Gibson might look to run. He does, and he's just short of the first down yardage. A pickup of 10 for him on what is technically his first rush of the day. Not really his first attempt, though, but considered his first rush on the day because it's positive yards for the first time. Second and inches, it's a draw play, which means it's a bad snap. You remember that? You remember me talking about that all the time in season one? It's so funny to me. You call an HB draw and the snap will be bad every single time. It's like, that's how Madden had to make it a draw because they didn't know how to design it otherwise to make the handoff delayed. Second and goal from the two. Back to pass with Tyler Gibson. Brian Robinson, touchdown Niners. Throw on the run to his offhand side. Tyler Gibson doesn't care. Brian Robinson gets the touchdown reception. And the 49ers extend their lead 24 to zero just before the half. Somehow there's still time in the second quarter. It's first and 10 from our own three. Carolina still failing to score. We'll just run it with Brian Robinson here and let the clock hit zero head to the second half. So we're in the second half now in the third quarter. Six and a half minutes left as the Panthers, I guess, started with the ball and failed to score again. As Tank Dell opened enough over the middle of the field, holds on through the big hit. First and 10 49ers. The crazy part about this game is that we have been playing pretty well, but this is Honestly, a quiet day for Tyler Gibson. 
That's just how dominant this guy is as he gets it to Dulcic who breaks a tackle. I'm telling you, this guy, he always breaks one. First and 10 from the 34 will go back to the ground. Brian Robinson, can he break one tackle? He can, but he lost forward progress because of it and then just gets tackled by the same guy he stiff farmed. Absolutely brilliant running from Brian Robinson. Second and 10 from the 33. We'll go Dulcich again over the middle. He broke a tackle. Look at him. He always breaks one. Always. Tyler Gibson has entered the zone. Four minutes left in the third quarter. First and 10 from the 23. He'll hand it off to number 23. He breaks a tackle. Stiff arming some more. And gets to the 16. A pickup of seven. Second down and three. A blitz. Tyler tries to get it off and he does. It'll fall incomplete. Luckily, we don't take the sack there because it means Tyler is still in the zone. Third and three. And we've got a man wide open. I don't even know who this guy is, but he didn't punch it in. Dunlap, is that the name on the back of the jersey I just saw? He's playing for the injured Jamal Parker who bruised his sternum, which is just Madden's way of saying he has a concussion, which means Josh Dunlap is the tight end too. That's the guy who just caught that. He's a 65 overall who has been in the NFL for two years. He's in his third season and he's only a 65. I guess that's just the state of the tight end position currently. We're at the half yard line. First and goal from the one handoff. Spiller, he walks it in. Touchdown 49ers. And we extend the lead. The Panthers putting up a donut still. We've entered the fourth quarter, and this game is just an absolute blowout. So I'm going to start running out the clock. I will update you guys if anything interesting happens. Nothing interesting happened. It's a shutout victory for the 49ers. One second left on the clock. And there you have it. That's the end. I will say one interesting thing did actually happen. I'll show you guys that in a second. But 31-0 is the final, basically just simmed through the fourth quarter because it was a blowout and the Panthers' offense is horrendous, evidently. If we take a look at player stats, the interesting thing that happened is that Tyler threw his 19th interception. Ha ha ha. It was completely my fault. I threw it in garbage time. You know, it is what it is. Brian Woody is the quarterback of the Carolina Panthers, had a 64 rating. Brian Robinson, 14 attempts, 54 yards. Actually wasn't too bad. Spiller, 6 for 24, was a little bit better in terms of average also had the touchdown receiving jmo a quiet day for him five for 67 and a touchdown dulcich four for 68 robinson three for 61 and a touchdown ingle two for 18 dpj two for 16 and tank two for 20 went ahead and advanced the week and now if we take a look at the playoff picture the 49ers still the three seed dang it the eagles and the bucks continue to not lose and maybe they won't but let's not waste any time let's just get straight into this matchup against the lions i'll get through these activities by the way if you're interested in seeing the activities i promise you they're not worth anything if you watched like the first 10 episodes i basically explained what i was doing while doing the activities and it's just the same thing literally every week it's ridiculous before today's game we have plus three speed plus three stamina plus one agility this is an 85 overall lions team that is only six and nine nice on the road again at ford field in detroit michigan to take on the underachieving lions team I just saw they have Bijan Robinson on this team as the running back. So they're definitely not bad if you've got a guy like Bijan. So as always seems to be the case, the 49ers will start with the football today and we are underway here in Michigan as Tyler will look to throw and to the right side, finding Jamal Parker, who missed most of last game, but is back for today. First and 10 of the 41 will go to the ground game. It's Isaiah Spiller, cuts it up the middle, gets a good carry, a pickup of eight to start the running game. Second down and two, by the way, JMO just needs the one more touchdown to secure the tie for the record of touchdowns in a single season. From the 44, it's first and 10 after the Tyler carry. And I don't know why I'm throwing that. I don't know why I'm throwing that. I mean, it was inaccurate from Tyler, which really did me no favors. But the fact that I'm throwing that to begin with is stupid. He's in double coverage. The safety's over the top. Dumb. Dumb throw. 20th interception on the season for Tyler Gibson. Great. You know, Tyler this season has looked like Tyler Gibson from season one. And also Tyler Gibson from season four. Still the absolutely insane stats, but with huge interception numbers as Tyler gets away from the defender and throws this one away. That was really good defense. This is definitely a losable game. This is a really good Lions team. I don't have high hopes for this 49ers roster because as long as I'm capable of throwing interceptions and our defense is incapable of getting stops, I don't see how we make a deep playoff run. Also, this offensive line is buns. Third and six from the 32. 
Tyler. I'm going to take off to run. It's just free real estate over here to the right, to the 42 for Tyler Gibson, first and 10. From the 42, it's first down and 10. Nobody's on Jamison Williams, so you know where that ball's going, and he's gone. See you later, Jamison Williams. Nobody's catching him. Touchdown, 49ers. Somebody did actually catch him, but it was way too late. That tackle happened halfway into the end zone, and on the board first are the 49ers, despite Tyler's best efforts of giving it away to the Lions. The Lions matched, so now it is 7-7 seven seven as we enter the second quarter. From our own 25, Tyler Gibson takes the snap, looks to throw, goes right side to Tank Dell to pick up a four. This Lions defense has been much stronger than the Panthers, that is for certain. Obviously, no back-to-back -back shutouts for the 49ers. Can Tyler find the edge? Kinda. Gets to the 32, third and three. That was honestly a really good pursuit angle from the linebacker. I think that was Jack Campbell. Oh my God, just no time to throw. Got it to Jamo somehow anyway, and it's good for a first. That's Nick Bosa. Or is that Joey maybe? It's one of the Bosas that was in the backfield. It's Joey Bosa. I thought it was Aiden Hutchinson because I believe he wears 97 as well, but it's Joey Bosa. By the way, that throw from Tyler and the play by Jamo afterwards, absolutely insane as we've got a guy wide open down the field it's tank Dell. also i haven't really brought it up this season but it's not really in question tyler gibson is going to win the mvp oh no what a throw my goodness lucky that's out of bounds despite the 20 interceptions he is by far the best quarterback in the nfl second and 10 from the 47 it only makes sense that he's going to get the mvp as we'll get this to jamal parker our tight end mvp to the 32 he goes first and 10 from the 32 We'll look to throw with Tyler, get it underneath to DPJ, breaks a tackle, falls forward, first down again for the Niners. From the 21, Tyler Gibson throws left side, caught by Parker, pickup of six. We're moving right along, no issues here. Second down and four from the 14. Hand off up the gut, Brian Robinson. His first carry on the day goes for one whole yard. Five minutes left in the second. Do I just throw this to JMO instantly? No, and I'm glad I didn't. As this guy's setting the edge. Oh my god. Just praying to the AI. What a play from Tyler Gibson. He runs back to the right to get behind the blocks. Fools the AI. And then runs it into the end zone after a juke at the goal line. Touchdown 49ers. You gotta remember... Tyler Gibson has like 93 speed. He is very, very fast. The Lions matched again. There's a minute 15 left, so we have plenty of time to get down the field and potentially score some additional points. DPJ wide open on the left, gonna get a ton of run after the catch. Gets to the 47. There's a minute left. Now 40 seconds left as Tyler Gibson takes the snap. Looks to throw, I press the wrong button, and it's dropped. That actually worked out pretty well. I meant to throw it to JMO. Now 34 seconds as we're back to pass with Tyler again. No way. Oh my god. <laughs> that was a terrible throw. So lucky he swatted it away instead of trying to pick it. 30 seconds as now we'll go to the play action. Tyler has Jamison Williams. A diving play by the safety though. Or the corner rather. Sets up fourth down and will punt it away. Should be the end of the first half, though, tied up at 14. Our defense must have forced a turnover because we, to start the third quarter, have it with nine and a half minutes left at the 46. So really, really good field position. Could have been a good punt return, too, I guess, but I think a turnover is more likely. The thing I miss about the Raiders is the fact that they had such a good defense, mostly because of Max Crosby, as my left tackle just got completely bodied. Not close. Like... Oh my God. Look at number 70 here. Paid millions to play this sport. Gone. <laughs> oh my God. I didn't want to have to use it, but the Lions are forcing my hand. We're going to the cheese play and they're actually covering it very well. No, that's the one formation that covers the cheese play. Fourth and 20 will punt it away. See, this is what scares me about this Niners team is if we have to punt it away, the defense is going to give up points. It's going to happen basically every time in the playoffs. So the offense is just going to have to play perfect football in order to make a Super Bowl run. The defense played really well against the Panthers, but that is a not-so-good offense, where the Lions evidently have a very good offense that our defense has been struggling to stop. Tank Dell very involved today. 
gets to midfield and exits with an injury. Welcome back to the team, Rashid Shahid, in that case. Tank is headed to the locker room, so I imagine it is a semi-serious injury. First and 10 from the 50. As Man, just no blocking. It's only a four-man rush, too. It's not like that was a big blitz. It's a four-man rush, and our offensive line is just this bad. I lied. It wasn't a four-man rush. It was a blitzer up the middle, and the center just didn't see it. So the block was not picked up. So apologies to my offensive line. But, man, we got to stop giving up these sacks. They are killing us. Tyler running to the right and running forward now gets quite a few yards that was pretty impressive from tyler gibson makes it third and seven i miss tank dell third and seven from the 48 tyler back to pass lobbing one up for jameson williams can he get underneath it he can what a throw from tyler gibson under pressure hit as he throws Still gets a dot to Jamo. First and 10, what is likely the final play of the third quarter. Another blitz coming. And just again, not picked up. This Lions team loves to blitz. But it was not the final play of the third quarter because it was incomplete. So with two seconds left, it's still the third quarter. It's second and 10 from the 17. And I wanted Jamo, but there was actually decent zone coverage. So we get it to DPJ and it's third and inches. And that's where we'll be to start the fourth quarter. Third down and in inches from the seven. I'm trusting Isaiah Spiller, and I shouldn't have. Man, like, I, oh, my God, we can't get a single half a yard. Not even, not even half a yard. Like, two inches, maybe, in the run game. That is ridiculous. Our guard blocked the wrong guy, and it ended up costing us fourth and two from the 18. We're going play action, and it should just be a free first down for Brian Robinson here, and it is. First and goal at the five. Good idea by the coach to go for it there. So from the five, Tyler going to run to his left, and this is the easiest touchdown run my boy has ever gotten. Tyler Gibson twice on the ground today as he found pay dirt, and it will tie this football game up. Although I imagine that once we fast forward through the quick sim, we'll be down again because this defense is horrendous. Oh, would you look at that? It's 28 to 21. The Niners back down by a touchdown. This is so bad. There's no shot we are a Super Bowl caliber team with this defense. Greg Dulcich, though, gets to the 42 in lion territory from the 42 first and 10 back to pass is tyler running to the left side can he find the edge who is that edge rusher that is that fast miles murphy i don't believe he's as fast as tyler there's just no way he can't possibly be tyler gibson 93 speed miles murphy 89 speed wow he's actually really fast i'll give him that that makes it second and 14 that is a big loss cannot hold on to the ball very long with this offensive line ah, see what i mean man like, I even stepped up in the pocket that time, and the end gets in there for the sack. Like, what are we doing on this offensive line? It is time once again to attempt a cheese play, although they covered it very well last time. And it's looking like they're going to again, but our guy is open. Ah, oh, no way. I just needed to stay in the pocket a second longer. This is GG's probably. Our defense is just so horrible, man. Just so, so bad. That is the fifth loss on the year for the 49ers. Kind of falling apart here down the stretch. Our defense is genuinely horrific. The offense gets the ball. They are guaranteed to score. It, it is unreal. I've never seen a defense this bad. I'm tempted to look at the defensive rankings because they've got to be near bottom of the NFL. It's so bad. Here's the statistics. Tyler Gibson, one touchdown, one pick. Not a good day through the air for him. Teddy Bush. Three touchdowns, no picks. Outplayed Tyler Gibson today. Rushing Bijan, 26 attempts, 128 yards. Completely unsurprising. Receiving Donovan Peoples-Jones actually led us in receiving with four receptions, 47 yards. Jamo though, did tie the NFL record with his 23rd touchdown reception on the season. I completely forgot when he scored that touchdown about that. And apparently Madden just does not care when records break. It's so, so frustrating. I'm going to be honest, guys. I don't think that this 49ers team has a chance in the world to win a super bowl if we go up against even a remotely good offense we are just going to get torched look at this guys we have the number one offense in the nfl by a lot we have the second worst defense in the nfl 31st ranked it's honestly impressive that we're 11 and 5 this 49ers team that tyler transferred to is horrible it's so 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 bad jmo in order to break the receptions record will need 24 catches today so that is definitely a long shot he's gonna win the triple crown for sure and he might end up with 2600 yards receiving 
and he'll probably break the receiving touchdowns record in this final game. In the NFC now, we are officially a game back of the Eagles. The Bucks did get a loss, which is one thing that we needed, but we also lost, so whoopee. We're definitely gonna be a wild card team, and I have very, very low expectations of this team's ability to win a Super Bowl. It's the final game of the regular season, and it's against the Arizona Cardinals. A division rival, of course, but a division rival that's not necessarily all that competitive. Although any team against us is competitive because our defense is just that bad. As always, the 49ers start with the football. We have already clinched a playoff spot. It's just a matter of if we have the two or the three seed really is all that we're fighting for at this point. Second and nine from the 25. Tyler will look to pass, has Jamison Williams. There's one of the 24 catches he needs today from the 40. Play action, Tyler Gibson. And looking downfield for DPJ, it's the cheese play. And Gregory Boston is injured, but it doesn't matter. This team is super frustrating because Tyler just has to do everything himself. The run game doesn't work. The defense doesn't work. The only thing that works is Tyler Gibson. Downfield, Jamison Williams. What a play, honestly, by the corner. Can't be too upset about that. Second and 10 from the 39, Tyler will hand off to Spiller who's got good running room. Oh, a pancake from Tyler Gibson. Let's go. From the 27, it's first down and 10. Wide open underneath is the tight end. Jamal Parker outruns one defender and then tripped up at the 12. First and 10 in the red zone for the Niners. Hopefully this will just be a smooth sailing game. I like those games like against the Panthers where it's just super, super easy and we just win for free. I'm just gonna dump this off to Brian Robinson. He gets some run after the catch and gets to the one first and goal i don't know how that happened i already know it's not gonna work first and goal from the one handoff brian robinson up the middle never mind it worked perfectly he walked it in perfect trap to the left side meant there was just a wide open lane to the right side of the center and it's a touchdown brian robinson i'm sorry for downing you offensive line you've just let me down about a hundred times this season and is anyone surprised the cardinals match the touchdown seven to seven is the score 49ers with the ball again, Jamison Williams will get his second of the 24 catches he needs. Breaks a couple tackles, gets to the 45, first and 10, 49ers. You know what would help this team is if we started with the ball in the second half. Because then we would like have the advantage for the second half. And I always have the disadvantage in the second half because we don't start with the freaking football. Second and 10 from the 45. Back to pass is Tyler. Lobbing one up to Jamo. Does he have the arm for it? This corner must be fast because he is keeping up with Jamison Williams which is not easy to do. Isaiah Corbett, he does have 94 speed and 93 excel. So he's not as fast as JMO, but fast enough where he can pretty much keep up. I think JMO's speed is 97, if I am remembering correctly. Third and 10 from the 45. Jamal Parker gonna get one down the middle of the field and he holds on first and 10 Niners. Third down conversion once again. From the 37. We'll go to Jamo. He gets his third of the 20, what is it, 24 catches he needs on the day. There's no way he's getting that record, by the way. I'm just joking around every time I say that. It would be it would be hilarious, though. I mean, you got to admit, it would be super funny as Tank Dell gets a first and goal. Imagine getting 24 receptions in a single game. That's wild. Second quarter has begun its first and goal from the eight. Or the Niners. Why am I throwing that, man? Holy cow. Like, I see the linebacker there, and I still press the button. What am I doing? What am I doing? This is my fault. This is it. We're going to lose another game, and I'm going to blame it on the defense, when in reality, I'm the one who sucks. It's me. Okay, the defense does suck, though, because they started from inside the 10, and they can't even force them to kick a field goal. I mean, my bad for the pick and putting them in that situation anyway, but, like, I don't know. Now, I don't know. <laughs> uh, first and 10 from the 25. So, you know, I don't have high hopes for this team. One, because I am awful, and two, because the defense is awful. And it just makes for a, you know, perfect storm of crap. 227 left in the second quarter. We're down by a touchdown. Tyler tries to get it to JMO and throws out of a sack. I don't know how I'm figuring it out this late in the season, but this 49ers roster is just so, so bad. Like the offensive line is terrible. Look at look at this. The offensive line is terrible. The running backs are terrible. The defense is terrible. Our receiver core is okay, which is, you know, really what Tyler needs, but holy cow. If it weren't for Tyler, this team would genuinely be so bad, I feel like, as that probably should have been intercepted. And now it's fourth and 10. We'll punt it away. The Cardinals will score a touchdown before the half, leaving us very little time prior to the half 
in order for us to score, meaning the Cardinals will get the ball back again in the third quarter because we started with the ball in the first half, meaning that by the time I have the ball again, I think it's going to be 28 to 7 because that's just how bad our defense is. So there's the first touchdown, 21 to 7. They did leave us 52 seconds, which is enough time for Tyler to get some points. So it's from the 25. Tyler is back to pass. JMO has a step on this corner for once, but Tyler overthrew it. Come on, Tyler. The one time. The one time. We're playing against a very fast corner. JMO been struggling to get around him all day. This time he does, and Tyler misses the throw. I mean, what do you expect, really, to be honest? Get it to DPJ, and he'll get out of bounds at the 39. So now we're basically in field goal range. 38 seconds left. Tyler's back to throw again. Did you guys see how hard JMO just got bumped? Did you guys see that? Imagine if I had thrown that. I would have been so tilted. I would have been so tilted. And you know what? I did almost throw it to JMO because from this look, he's about to break open from the safety. The actual reason I didn't throw it is not because of this dude that he ends up running into, but because of this safety. I figured he'd be close enough to make a play on it. But look at how bad JMO gets bumped here. Oh my God. It just completely stops him in his tracks. My goodness. From the 33, Tyler. Back to pass again, and my players are bumping into each other this time. But it's still a completion for Tank Dell. We'll use our first timeout. From the 27, first down and 10. And Tyler breaks a tackle, has room to run. See you later. It's six for the 49ers. And Tyler Gibson, breaking out of a sack, finds his way to the end zone and makes the lead a little bit less for the Cardinals as we head to halftime. Look at this broken sack and then nothing but open field in front of him. And there's very few people in the NFL fast enough to catch up to Tyler Gibson. It's the third quarter and the defense got a stop. It is our time. We have to help them out with the fact that they were able to get a stop. So we're doing the cheese play. Tyler missed the throw, but it doesn't matter. DPJ got underneath it. And it's a big gain to the 45 in Cardinal territory. First and 10, there's a chance. It does not feel like this game is out of reach anymore. In fact, it feels very much within reach. Tyler under pressure again. Our right, how bad is our right tackle genuinely? Our right tackle is an 82 overall, man. He does not seem like an 82 overall. Maybe his pass protection ratings are just all out of whack, you know? Second and 10. From the 45, Tyler. Gonna step up, gonna take off to run. He's gonna do it with his legs these next couple weeks. Maybe that's what I'll have to do to get a victory in another Super Bowl. The thing I miss about that Raiders team is just how complete of a roster it was. The defense, led by Max Crosby, was absolutely incredible. And the defense here for the 49ers is absolutely horrendous. We had a pretty elite tight end, we had elite wide receivers. And, like, we have good wide receivers here. And, obviously, J-Mo just, as Tyler misses a throw, J-Mo just broke every record in the book. But you know what? I'm going to say it. I shouldn't have left the Raiders. We could have won another Super Bowl with them. The Raiders is Tyler's team. He should have never left. J-Mo will get another chance this time with the reception. An accurate throw from Tyler down to the four. First and goal from the four. Play action. Tyler running for his life. Oh, my God. Dulcich back of the end zone. Toe tap. Touchdown. Tyler Gibson to Greg Dulcich. A great catch from Dulcich right on the corner of the end zone. Got the toes down. Great throw from Tyler right at the edge of the field. And that is six points for the Niners, and that should tie it up. If the defense can get another stop, we have a serious chance to win this game. And they do. They get another stop. The defense is popping off. I have to get the defense the lead here. It just has to happen. First and 10 from the 20. Play action. Tyler to throw. That's going to be picked. Oh, my God. Thank you, DPJ. I love you. Just a little over a minute here in the third quarter. First and 10 from the 30. Tyler, play action. Blitz not picked up. Trying to throw to JMO. Anyway, he lays out for it. It's a good try, but it falls incomplete. Is the blitz ever picked up by this offensive line? Minute left here in the third. Tyler going over the middle, swatted away by the linebacker. Good play in zone coverage from him, and now it's third down. Like I said, I think we have to score on this drive. I'm looking at Jamal Parker probably over the middle. The safety is playing too shallow. Tyler going to take off to run. He's got the first down yardage, and he slides down at the 45. First and 10, San Francisco. It's easy to forget with how much I throw the football just how good Tyler Gibson is on the ground. First and 10. 
from the 45. Jamal Parker wide open down the field. Breaks the tackle, the safety, but the other DB makes the tackle. And we're to the 26 in Cardinal territory. Nearing the end of the third. We're going play action again in that. Yeah, that guy just did not bite at all. That linebacker knew what was going on. Oh, it's Trey Greenlaw. Second and 16 to start the fourth quarter after the big loss for Tyler Gibson. And just running away from the from the defenders. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Third and 16 coming up. It's a third and long situation. You know what that means. It's time for the cheese play. DPJ should be wide open. He's not, and that's a pick. Fantastic. Inaccurate throw from Tyler Gibson. Th you know, things you just love to see. Things you just love to see. Quandre Diggs picks us off. That's gonna, that's GG's. I mean, it has to be. Now our defense has no momentum. Uh, I, I don't know. They covered it well. I shouldn't have thrown it anyway. I felt like I needed to in that situation, but the inaccurate throw from Tyler did me no favors. That one I'm going to call a 50-50. I shouldn't have thrown it, but the inaccuracy from Tyler didn't help. Obviously, the offensive line didn't help either because we were under pressure from like three people. Oh, the defense got a stop again. We start at our own seven. The defense got yet another stop. They're showing up in a big way. Tyler downfield, DPJ wide open on the cheese play this time. And to the 32, Jamal Parker is injured again. Bro, stop bruising your sternum. First and 10 of the 32, you might be shocked to see this, but it's a run play for Brian Robinson. Breaks a tackle and nearly has a first, second and in inches. It's so funny, we have the number one offense in terms of yardage in the NFL, but we have the number 32 offense in terms of rushing yardage, which is pretty crazy. Here's some rushing yards for Tyler Gibson. Great blocking from Tank Dell means Tyler gets all the way to the Arizona 24. He's over 100 yards on the day. When's the last time Tyler went for over 100 yards rushing in a game? The huge pickup for Tyler Gibson puts the 49ers near the red zone with seven minutes left in the fourth, first and 10. And you already know, this is going to Jamison Williams. And it's another first down for him, tackled at the 12. First and 10 from the 12. Tyler will look to throw, running away from the competition to the left side. And it's another one on the ground for Tyler Gibson. He's been doing a lot on the ground today, and it is paying off. Tyler Gibson popping off today as the lead running back. The defense clutched up again. They are popping off. They want this win. First and 10 from the 37, four minutes left to play here in the fourth. And the 49ers have a lead. Time to chew some clock. Second and eight with just over three minutes. Tyler will go over the middle to Jamison Williams. We can still kill the clock, even throwing the ball as long as it's complete. Two and a half minutes. First and 10, it's a handoff. Jamo, who's in the backfield. It's a loss of one, but the clock keeps moving and we'll hit the two minute warning. So a first down would basically end the game. Can we make it happen with Tyler Gibson? You already know I'm running this. You already know I am running this. And we fall down at the 27, a minute 53 left. Arizona uses their first timeout. A loss of one on the previous run play makes it second down and 11 from the 28. A minute 51 left, one timeout left for the Cardinals. A broken tackle from Isaiah Spiller means that we get to the 21 and Spiller goes down with an injury, which means we burn a timeout. Brutal time to get injured. I think the choice here is obvious. You run the ball one more time. He gets the first, the game is over. He doesn't get the first. We burn their last time out. We kick a field goal, and it seems like a win-win either way. Handoff up the gut. Brian Robinson, he did not get the first. And they want us to go for this? Are they for real? Do you know the percentage chance we have to win if we just kick a field goal here? You guys cannot be for real. Can I call a field goal? I'm calling a field goal. Y'all are so dumb for wanting to go for that. That, that is ridiculous. With how bad our defense is? No way. Yeah, so now we have a two possession lead and they have no timeouts and they have to drive basically the same distance as if we failed the fourth down conversion. Are you guys dumb? The 49ers win despite the best efforts of the coaching staff to allow the Cardinals a chance. Why would we go for it there on fourth and one? It makes no sense. It's like a chip shot field goal. We have a really, really good kicker. The field goal puts us up by two possessions. The Cardinals would then have no timeouts and then would have to drive from basically the same spot on the field we were already at had we 
failed the fourth down. Sure, you get the first down, you win the game. If you don't, you are giving the Cardinals such a great opportunity to tie the game up. Makes no sense from a strategic standpoint. Anyway, here's the stats. Tyler Gibson was awful today. 79.1 rating, one touchdown, two picks. I think he finished the season with 22 interceptions, which is a lot. Kyler Murray was fine. 102 rating, did also have two picks, but also had three touchdowns. Rushing, Tyler Gibson, 10 for 129 and two touchdowns. Absolutely nasty from Tyler Gibson today. Jamo did not get the 24 receptions he needed to break the NFL receptions record. He also didn't get a touchdown grab, so he didn't break the NFL touchdown receptions record either. He just tied it. But he broke the NFL receiving yards record by an absolute mile. He's at like 2,630 now after today's game. Donovan Peoples-Jones had a lot of yards today too. We have enough skill points for another Tyler Gibson upgrade. We have four. What do we feel like Tyler Gibson needs? Maybe one more to throw under pressure. He still has a decent chunk of inaccuracies while under pressure. So I think that we put our three skill points into that. He is now a true 95 overall. Hey, also shout out to the defense. They really stepped up in the second half. Didn't allow a single point in the second half, which is what allowed us to win that game. We'll be playing the Vikings according to what I can see. Let's take a look at the playoff bracket. We did end up finishing with the the three seed so we're likely only going to have home field advantage through the first week unless the eagles get upset by the packers but we'll play the vikings as the three seed and they are the six seed they have the second best quarterback in the nfl that's doug quincy here's the final stats on the season for tyler gibson he went over 6,000 yards again 6,192 50 touchdowns to 22 interceptions on 70 percent completion percentage averaging 364.2 yards per game kind of fell apart with the interceptions this season but you know who really cares we're winning a lot still and tyler's throwing a ton of touchdowns rushing was led by tyler gibson 81 attempts 637 yards and 10 touchdowns brian robinson averaged 3.8 per carry 448 yards we just don't run the ball a lot receiving though jameson williams 2629 yards receiving 23 touchdowns 133 receptions he has won the the receiver triple crown by leading in receptions yards and touchdowns Tank Dell with just under 900 jamal parker just under 800 dpj who missed like seven weeks has 621 probably would have been a second thousand yard receiver had he been healthy the whole year rashid shaheed had 500 basically didn't play like the final five weeks after dpj came back Dulcich 333 and robinson 266 everyone else under 100 but there you have it that is going to do it for this episode in the next episode we'll do the entirety of the playoffs whether that's one game and we get upset by the vikings or it's four games and we win or lose the super bowl but anyways thank you guys so much for watching i do truly appreciate the continued support if you find yourself coming back on the regular and you aren't already subscribed go ahead and hit that sub button for me it does help me out a lot we're trying to hit 2,000 subs by the end of may and i think that we can do it but i'll see you guys in the next episode which will be the final tyler gibson episode and it'll be the playoffs of season number five